going on everybody thanks for stopping in for another video don't have any action figures to talk about today but I do have some art toys and technique I'd like to talk about for a little bit one of my favorite items that I use on almost all my drawings that I've been using for a long time is a battery powered eraser you might be thinking why does he use a battery powered eraser that's so lazy yeah uh, and it is I mean not gonna lie I almost never use a regular eraser anymore but the main reason that I like to use this little guy is because you can get a lot of little details erased and it's a lot of precision and power. Um, if you've got like a really dark line, especially colored pencil, and you can't quite get it with a kneaded eraser or a traditional eraser, the battery power eraser will really do a great job of erasing it a lot better. And it comes great, in, you know, it comes in handy for highlights and any other effects that you might be trying to achieve. So if you're an artist and you've never used one of these, pick one up because <laughs> uh, it's 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 great. Um, this is the the first one that I ever had. It runs on a couple of AAA batteries. This is the second one I got. It's got a lot of duct tape, yeah, <laughs> and it runs on AA batteries. This is the new one I just got. Both of these have the same tip on them. This guy has an even smaller one for even smaller detail and it's a little quieter too so yeah I just picked up that like last week or so and I was like I don't know I was nerding out over art supplies again because the the tip is so much smaller than the other one it's like half the size or or a third of the size or something which is cool because I can even use it on my old ones because it's the same size and I can do that too um, so it's kind of like the uh, it's the opposite of the next Thing that I wanted to talk about here here's the erasers and the packaging for the new one that I just got um, and that kind of segues into stippling you may have seen my last drawing that I did um, the other day of Mr. Rogers and I've been doing more and more stippling in it all the time you can kind of see all the little dots and stuff and you can see the white uh, dots too and that's where the eraser comes in handy for the most part some of it's um uh, some of it is oil pastel that I just kind of stipple on there as well. So it's a it's a lot of give and take uh, to my technique that I that I achieve with stippling and erasing. And up until this point, all the stippling has been manual, which is cool and all, but it's really it's it's really taxing on your hand doing this for hours on end essentially. Um, and my wrist was really getting cramped on this one. So I've been doing a little research on that, and they actually came out with a stipple pen. It's called a, a Dots pen, which, unfortunately, I don't have a picture of it, and I don't own one myself, but it looks just like a regular pen. But there's a motor inside of it to make the ink um, go in and out automatically, and there's different speeds to control it, and it's really cool. It's rechargeable, and I'm nerding out over this art technology, art toys as well. And I was like, all right, I'm going to get one of these too because it's going to make my stippling so much easier, um, faster, and, and so on. Um, the downside is it only comes in a couple different colors, which is great because up until like last night, I thought it was only in black. But anyways, it does have a couple different colors, but you have to have like the special inks. And uh, the big thing is it's stupid expensive. It's like 65 bucks uh, or, or more that I saw online. It's called the... The dots pen, um, and I'm not I'm not too sold on on, uh, on on pulling the trigger on that just yet. So I was trying to wrap my head around. Okay, how could I maybe create this automatic stipple pen of some sort? And I was just running. I was just I don't know. I, I had a whole bunch of different ideas until I finally stumbled upon a, a, another YouTube video. So I can't take the credit to the, uh, on this at all, but uh, shout out to the Maker Central. It's a YouTube channel, and they basically developed their own automatic stippling pen, or dots pen, whatever you want to call it, to help take off uh, some of the burden of all this manual stippling. Because holy crap, I don't know how people do it all, you know, uh, manually. So this is what I came up with. And if I hadn't talked about it led up to this point, you'd be like, what the hell is that? It's not a bomb. Don't worry. <laughs> it's safe-ish. 
But this is what I what I come up with. Um, and believe it or not, this will this will stip, stipple automatically. Um, I took a um, what wooden dowel, cut that down to kind of mount everything on it. There's a there's a uh, piece of a pen cap here, or a piece of a pen rather, that the colored pencil goes inside, and then there it, it kind of harnesses inside this pen cap there. There's a motor. There's a piece of metal that I cut. There's a cap to a paint, an acrylic paint cap that's mounted in there. Wired it all up to a 9 volt battery. Now, before I demonstrate it, the actual stipple pen, the dots pen, um, or actually, I'm sorry, not that one, but the one that, the, that I uh, saw somebody on YouTube build, his was basically a, a pen, kind of like half a pen, take it apart, and it would it was still just ink that it would uh, it would stipple for you. So I was like, I, I tried to take their idea, the two ideas, a step further, because I don't really work with ink too much. I'm primarily with colored pencil and oil pastel, because I like to work with the colors. So I was like, how how can I stipple with a colored pencil um, instead of ink? So this is this is basically what I came up with. Obviously, it's it's very rough, and the wires are all over the place. So I need to work on that. There's a there's the little power button there too. But uh, I'm I'm you know honest to God, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. So yeah, there's uh, you press that button and there it goes, and it stipples for you. <laughs> um, it's uh yeah here let me let me just. Uh, Throw it in action here for you. I'll do a little circle. Oops, let's get some light going on first. There we go. So I'll just do a really basic circle. And I mean, it's definitely not perfect. I just whipped this thing up together today, this afternoon when I had the day off. I'm going to try a little bit of shading. The wiring isn't perfect. But, yeah, I mean, it does get the job done. I think it's, uh, I think it's running a little low on juice. Oh, okay, hang on, there we go. Yeah, I've been using it, I've been trying it out quite a bit today, and uh, I'm still working out the kinks, but that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Um, hoping to improve it, for sure, but I'm excited to see uh, what I can do with it later on. And it just kind of got me thinking, too, um, just about like all the other technology that I use, even though I'm a very traditional artist, I don't do anything digitally, per se. I don't do anything, uh, you know, graphic art-wise. Uh, but, you know, I mean, I still use a computer all the time. I use my phone, tablet, scanner, elect even an electric pencil sharpener, and just obviously the lights in the house is just like, um, and my... Um, battery powered erasers, you know, all this all this tech that you might take for granted or not really think about that goes into a drawing or, or even a painting or something like that. But anyways, thanks for watching my video. Sorry it was a little bit longer than I try and make them. But I'll see you in the next one. Bye!